Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Hello and welcome back again in Alan Wake 2 and this is episode 4 I think We are in Lutern, Lutern chapter Right there room So Alan Wake also have some sort of mind room but it's What the hell was Wyther that interview? Room. Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. <clears throat> In between with Mr. Dawn. Fuck. I think this uh, chapter or episode called Late Night. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Oh, my interpretation of many words. Dr. Casper Darling. Sadly, he is somewhat lost. One of the greatest minds we have. Wish I could have him here. Okay. Password. My interpretation of many words. Cassie. Hello, Casey. What could the password be? Obviously, it couldn't be hey! one, two, three. I think I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. Old gods of Asgard. She's just fine. That name sounded familiar. Thor? Maybe. Six, five. Yep. Why not six, six, though? Oh, they did. Bad number, right? There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Um, let me look into my footage for a moment. No, I thought I saw something. It's like a shadow just walked past me. Oh. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Okay. Drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. Was here for 13 years. Initiation dropped one. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. 
I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Okay, let's see what I can do with this one. Initial one, draft, get back to writing. Part one, late night. Lead me, be well, scratch, and Alice. Waking up from nightmare. At a talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it feels light. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The wiser looms were my safe heaven, my rising effect was was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. With the story I was I project I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times failed. This place made me forget everything Dar had said had failed true. Was that part of my writing? Or coming from somewhere else? I had to keep writing. The dark place trapped. You must write to escape. Nothing on the lady you get. No, wait. The sound of Thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's the uh, iconic. Uh, he looks exactly Stanley. like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I don't know how to feel. I was tired. Sam Lake standing in my car. like a plastic film. 
I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great! Murder case, Casey! Great job, Sam! Very exciting! And very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> okay. Here we go. We have to remember that every time that Alan wake, wake up from his writing, he will uh, some sort of get some sort of um, amnesia. Not sure how do I explain it. He will forget what he was. So I have to remind myself about that. So it makes sense the way of and wake. Uh, viewing his boat. Still the same book, thought there would be anything different. Oh, sorry, that scared me too. Hello? That sounds familiar. What is his name again? Uh, the janitor, the janitor. What is his name again? I thought there's no loot here. Damn. Yes, it's him. Ah, oh, no day. Oh, what's hey, his name you again? are I Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. But how? Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? Not <laughs> the hell of it is. Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti? Yes, Ahti! You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So, don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a pack of uh, man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you, Avi. 
you helped me once, you helped me again. I guess you're back from vacation? I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust huh. the basement would get me out of here. As he is not a... It's not just a normal uh, pala you tara pala you 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 utility something. He is something more than that. I am so sure. Now, I see. Hmm. Very interesting. Lamps in shoe box. Open up the way. Why the journals? Angel lamp. The janitor seems to know me, but he got the name wrong. Had I with him him into existence? He said I had something left in the basement a tool to get out. The dark present was out there hunting me. When it caught me it killed me. I wake up here again. I refuse to give up. Start again. The, the talk show felt little and not little. Alex Casey was my creation. But now it seemed like it seems he had a life of his own. He mentioned a lamp shaped like an angel. Hati! He is something, I am so sure. Probably uh, stronger than Jesse Faden too. Glad he's on our side. But if he's here, that probably means uh, he is now out of his vacation. He's back on working. I'm glad. I'm glad. Now he helped me once, and now he helped me again. Thanks to him. Stay in the light. Nothing here though. The talk show host? What do you think? A writer trapped in a dream world attempts to write a story to shape reality around him and escape. He is beset by visions leaking in from realities beyond his own. He uses those visions as inspiration for his stories in hopes of giving them power to make them come true. Us, hidden few, know that ultimately he will succeed. But before that, Many of these stories collapse back into the stuff that dreams are made of to remain as they began, works of fiction. And yet, maybe there is a gleam of truth to be unearthed from these tales. Night we are into the unseen realities beyond our own, offering us intriguing avenues of contemplation as they transpire in the Night Spring. In uh, American Nightmare, it said that Night Spring is. Uh, I mean, in American Nightmare, I remember that Alan Wake was his own story into Night Spring. Not sure what that game boat means. I think that he probably can go in anywhere that is some sort of threshold or anywhere that his are. He is probably not or probably is human. 
if he's human, I think he might be like the first person who gained the power of Palanesho. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Where did the clicker go anyway? Where is my clicker? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. You were Whoa. When the Whoa. light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening oh. a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay, what if I open the w uh, way this way? If there is anything different, hope there won't be any monster. So. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Now I'm more curious what Archie actually is. Head on? I don't know. Probably something more than head on. Place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake? That's not like. Whoa! And like that? Okay, if you want me to end like that. Okay, Oman, I will stop this part right here because it's the end of the part. It's short, but I think that's all.
Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you didn't find it. Okay, take care of yourself. My name is Love Fosse, and for today, I'm out. I can see you there, but you don't see me anywhere. I'm right in front of you, I'm right here on this one ending road. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap on this winding road. Will it ever let me go? Forever I am fading to black. Forever I am circling back. Just to fall into this trap This 